my little party animals. Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new episode of the Best Baby Challenge. Now, if you missed the first episode of the Best Baby Challenge, basically what happened was I created a female sim who I thought was very pretty, and then I kidnapped all of the men in Willow Creek, all of the adult men in Willow Creek, and we had a baby with each of those men. We had a baby girl with all of them, and then we had to decide who made the best baby. In a shocking turn of events, it was Bob Pancakes. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but she's very beautiful. She got the most votes in the last video and of course all over, you know, the different social media platforms that I posted on. Everybody was voting for Bob Pancakes, though I will say that I think it was, I don't even remember who it was. There was somebody else that got a ton of the votes and I was like, uh, what? <laughs> what do you mean he got all of the votes? That's weird. But I wanted to go in and give her just a quick little makeover. So we are giving her a makeover just so she looks, you know, a little bit nicer. When you kind of create the Sims, obviously they come with some interesting clothing choices. So I wanted to make sure that we were kind of switching her up and making her look super duper adorable. And I think that she turned out pretty darn cute. But... Let's go into Oasis Springs and see what kind of babies she makes. So we are here in Oasis Springs for part two of the Best Baby Challenge. We have here Bridget Fletcher, who is the daughter of our matriarch over in the other world, as well as Bob Pancakes. That's right, Bob Pancakes somehow created the best looking child. Someone explain this to me. I have no idea what's happening, but we are going to start going through the men in Oasis Springs, seduce them, and see who creates the best baby. We are here at the trailer of the one and only Johnny Zest. That's right, we are in Johnny Zest's trailer, and we are going to seduce the crap out of Johnny Zest. So let's get started here. Oh my goodness, are these two not absolutely precious? Luckily for Johnny Zest, he's not married, so we don't have to kill anybody. We're just going to go right on in and see what kind of babies Johnny Zest will give us. All right, we are here. We are creating a child with Johnny Zest, and we are going to randomize her. One, two, and three. And then we are going to age her up to a young adult. Oh my goodness. All right, girl. She's cute. She got quite possibly the best of both worlds here. She's adorable. I absolutely adore her. So her name's going to be Danielle. We're going to have her go with family. Just give her some random traits here. Fantastic. All right. I know Johnny is like our first you know, test sim, but Johnny, you're, you're stepping up here that she is, she is pretty darn cute. I am so into this as adorable as this father daughter couple here, father daughter couple, father daughter duo here is unfortunately Johnny Zest. It's time for you to go. We have no more use for you and it's, it's just, it's time. Yeah, all of that steamy, hot romance with Bob Pancake's daughter just didn't poor, poor Johnny Zest. Bye, Johnny. We are at the home of our next three, count them, three victims. And we're going to start off here with Gavin Richards. Now, I don't know if this is something that MC Command Center did or what is going on because I don't remember Gavin Richards being married to Mila, but he is. So, say it with me, there's only one thing to do here. We have to kill Mila. Oh, bye Mila. She didn't even do anything, she just turned right into a ghost. Just right into a ghost. Let's see if we can find Gavin. I wonder if he is even home. Is he even here? I don't see him. None of the men are home. What is happening? 
Where are they? Here he is. Our next sim is home. Gavin Richards is here, and we are going to kidnap him from his home and see what kind of baby he makes. And here we are, making a baby with Bridget and Gavin. Let's see what kind of baby Gavin gives us. Randomize one, two, and three. And then we are going to age her up into a young adult. Oh my goodness. She's also very cute. This round is going way better than the Willow Creek round. Let me just point that out right now. These Sims are way more attractive than any of the ones that we got from Willow Creek. So I am pretty darn excited here. Well, thank God that the Grim Reaper is still here because he's not going to have to travel far for his next victim. Poor, poor Gavin. Now that we have made a baby with you, we just, we don't need you anymore. Bye, Gavin. We have moved away from the Rumi's household for a minute, and we've moved over to the Cayente household. Not because any of the women are of interest here, but because Don Lothario, my personal favorite sim, lives in this house. So we are going to have a friendly introduction with him. I don't believe we really need to kill any of the Cayente sisters because, you know, they're kind of like all with Don. It's not like he has a wife or anything like that. He's kind of known as the player. So we're just going to let them live for now. Let them live their best lives. But we are going to kidnap Dawn away. Now that we've taken Dawn out of the clutches of the Caliente sisters, it's time to figure out what kind of baby Dawn's going to give us. So we randomize one, two, and three. And then we are going to age this baby up to a young adult. Yes, queen, you look just like your mother. This is like straight up what she looks like. Like, <laughs> like there is basically no difference here. Minus the hair, but the hair was my doing. So, all right, she's pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm a little disappointed. This is not what I expected from Don Lothario being quite possibly the most beautiful sim in the game, so. I don't know, I'm a little I'm a little disappointed here. I think that our first sim so far with Johnny Zest has been the best looking sim. I don't know, we got a few more guys to go through, so let's see what we come up with. Death is still here, Gavin's still hanging around, but now that Don's finally moved into our household, there is only one thing left to do. Don, we don't need you anymore. Thankfully, death doesn't have to go too far to deal with this new death that we have going on. Basically, this series should be Renee wants to kill townies. <laughs> poor Don Lothario. All of these poor daughters. Everybody's just so, so sad. It's okay, girls. We'll get you a new dad. We are sad, but we are back at the Rumi's household where we are going to take hold of our next victim who just happens to be sitting here on the couch. Hello, Mitchell. How are you, darling? Let's get Mitchell to fall in love with us real quick, and then we'll see what kind of babies he makes. It looks like, despite our sadness, we're actually having a pretty good time. All right, now that we have Mitchell... Let's see what kind of babies he gives us. One, two, and three. And we are going to age her up to a young adult. Oh. <laughs> Girl, your style is highly interesting. <laughs> she is, I don't know. She's not my favorite. I'm not going to lie. I did not have high expectations for Mitchell. He is, like, not really... He's not really the most attractive-looking sim on the planet. So I... Mm, eh, I'm not surprised here. I'm just not surprised. Now that Mitchell's given us one of the most disappointing children of this series, I think it's time for him to go. Oh. Bye, Mitchell. <laughs> I've killed too many Sims. They won't even show the animations anymore. This is becoming a problem. And for our final foray at the Rumi's household, we are going to be 
seducing Jay Huntington III. It is finally his time. Zoe needs to live on her own. It's getting to the point where, you know, you got three guy roommates. Like, this trope has been done before. We're not about it, Zoe. Now that we have gotten the final member of the Rumi's household, we are going to see what kind of baby this sim gives us. And I'm just going to say, he's a pretty attractive sim, so I have some high hopes here. So let's see. One, two, and three. And then we age her to a young adult. Okay, all right, girl, let's get rid of this hat for a second. Yes, oh my god, I knew, I knew he was going to give us a beautiful sim. I am so impressed with this round of the best baby challenge. Oasis Springs, if you need genetic material for men, Oasis Springs is just straight up the way to go here. Now that we've gotten the genetic material that we need from this man, it's time for him to go. Let's just continue this death train real fast. Oh, bye Jay. We are at the location for our final male sim in Oasis Springs. Now mind you, I am only doing adult male sims. So little Malcolm Landgrab, he is a teenager. He does get spared for this. So we don't have to worry about Malcolm. The first thing we do have to worry about, however, is Nancy. My goodness, the amount of times that I have wanted to kill Nancy Landgrab and I can finally do it. Goodbye, Nancy forever. I'm so done with her. I can't stand her. She's my least favorite sim. She's absolutely my least favorite sim. And now it's her time to die. Goodbye, Nancy. Well, poor Joffrey is mourning the death of his wife, but uh, he's gonna fall in love with us pretty quickly, I think. Maybe consoling him about his wife's death will help speed up this process. Now that Joffrey's over the untimely death of his lovely wife, it's time to see what kind of baby Joffrey is going to give us. So we have one, two, and three. And let's age her up. Okay. I mean, those eyebrows are not... <laughs> They're not very nice, but I think if we got rid of the eyebrow, let's just test this theory. Let me just test the theory of getting rid of these ridiculous eyebrows. Okay, already better. Already better. Yep, she's still not great. I don't think that she's the winner, but that's not for me to judge. That's for you guys to judge. So I don't know. She's not, she's not terrible. She's not great. She's not terrible. And now that we've finished going through all of the Sims in Oasis Springs, it's time to kill Joffrey Landgrab. These poor women all living in a one bedroom household all together are going to be voted on by you guys to let me know who you think made the cutest baby out of all of the men from Oasis Springs. We will be going through some screenshots so you can see the fathers along with their daughters. And then I want you to vote down below and let me know who you think made the best baby in Oasis Springs. So first up, we have Johnny Zest, who personally, this is my vote. I think his daughter turned out absolutely precious and then our second man is gavin richards and gavin also did a pretty darn good job on his daughter she is very very cute then we have the disappointment of this episode mitchell kailani and his interesting looking daughter then we have my favorite sim ever, Don Lothario, and his absolutely adorable daughter. She looks just like the sim that we ended up with at the end of the last episode. Then we move on to Jay Huntington III, who also gave us a very beautiful sim. I actually really, really like her too. And then finally, we have Joffrey Landgrab, who, no surprise here, gave us a decent looking sim, but she's not super great. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys think made the cutest sim 
in this episode. And I also want you to let me know what world you think that we should go after next. I do have all of the packs, so we, there are no worlds that are off limits here. So let me know in the comments down below who you think the most attractive sim is and what world you want me to go into next. If you enjoyed this video and you would like me to keep making them, definitely give it a thumbs up down below, leave me a comment, and if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.